here we go. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike from the Super Wheeler Bros, and we are back with another review of Marvel's Inhumans. And this time we're taking a look at episode number five, Something Inhuman This Way Comes. Man, I'm telling you, uh, I think at this point I'm just here for the lols. I do believe that is the case at this point. Alright, to be fair guys, it's a lot better this week than it has been in the previous couple of episodes. This at least had something going on, a little bit, but it's so inherently silly and plagued with very either poor writing, poor editing, or just god-awful performances. I can't pick which one. For the life of me, I can't quite understand the direction of any of this. This week's episode, basically, we have some struggling internally at Adelan between Maximus and all of the other folks that are there saying they want to uprise against him and they need to get the false king off the throne. So now we have that plot development and unfortunately, Iwan Rion could not be further from the imposing Ramsay Bolton, the psychotic, dreadful, hated villain that he was on Game of Thrones. He is whiny and annoying. And he started off as almost a friggin' hero, and now he's just obnoxious. It, it, it's not not good, at in the least, at all. And that whole development is, of course, right? It's so predictable. And back on Earth, everything to do with Karnak and his girlfriend, I think your name's Jesse. It could be the way it's edited. It could be a lot of different things. The martial arts choreography is really bad. Really, really bad. Not good. Everyone who runs, whether it be Gorgon or Jesse, it looks like they've got a giant stick shoved up their butt. And I don't know what's causing that look. I, they both look like they're in fairly good shape and fairly athletic, so I don't quite understand the way that looks. But, man, whew, I don't know. But the worst offender of bad acting, not Gorgon, not Karnak, who, by the way, you know, uh, Jun Tao <laughs> from Rush Hour, who is the actor that plays Karnak, he's at least a very serviceable actor. He's, he's done a pretty decent job in a lot of different things. The worst offender is Crystal, Isabel Cornish, and the surfer dude. Let go, hang ten, bruh. Big ass dog laying on the beach. Big ass CGI dog. But we're talking about hanging ten. You can find your family later. Just let go. I know I sound like I'm extremely nitpicky at this point, and the kind of this show kind of deserves it. I don't know what to say about the development with all this. The stories come to a standstill whenever it is not on Black Bolt and Medusa, and even they aren't doing anything of great interest. But at least there's this dynamic with the other Inhumans that run across them, like Auron and her group of. Inhumans that have come down from Adelan to attack the royal family, at least there is some kind of dynamic there. What is it, Locus, the one who's calling and looking for Karnak and, and everything when they all happen to be upon each other? At least there's a dynamic that is challenging the way Black Bolt does things, and he looks genuinely hurt by it. He looks genuinely to where he doesn't understand and... and the questioning of Medusa and how she and her parents wanted to rise up against Black Bolt and their parents' rule of Adelan. And that's the only interesting thing happening in the show. And at least everybody got back together, so there's not all these conjoining stories. At least now we can focus on one thing and just get them back to Adelan. I mean, 
there's only three episodes left, so we've got six, seven, and eight. I don't, I don't know where you can go to make a full recovery of this show. It's just, it's not good. It's not executed well. I, I was hoping for so much more. So disappointed. D Black Bolt is a neutered character. He is rendered absolutely inert by the writing of this show. He has so many different things that he's been able to harness through the power of his voice. All these different powers that make him so much more interesting and it's just not coming across. And Medusa is your only window to having some type of emotion. And at this point, the writing of Medusa is very linear in one note. So it's not, it's not really doing much. Something in Human This Way Comes was a much better episode than we've gotten over the past few weeks, so I'm at least fa thankful that it was watchable. It was a serviceable episode, and uh, the the only reason I think I've continued to do it is because I'm, I'm reviewing them every week, uh, unfortunately. And I, I know that the, this show has its fans. It really does. I, I've looked at the comments across YouTube. Some people are enjoying this, and... Judging by, you know, about 250 reviews on IMDb to where this is nearly a 7, this is a much more enjoyable episode for people. For me, it's still ho-hum, and that's really the best way I can describe it. It's not completely unwatchable, but it is not compelling TV in the slightest, and I can't wait for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to come back so we can get a better Marvel show in this Friday night time slot, or I can just check out The Gifted on Monday, which is a much better show. So, anyways guys, if I was gonna score this week's episode of Marvels and Humans, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Like I said, everybody, it's not a god awful episode. It is not, however, a spectacular or even very serviceable episode. It is right down the middle of the road. We'll see if they can pick up some steam and go out on a high note. I know I've said this before, a lot of times all that really matters is the ending. It can cover up a lot of flaws. So we'll see how it goes out. Anyways guys, tell me what you thought of this week's episode of Marvels and Humans. Are you liking it? And I'm just crazy? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, definitely go ahead and drop us a like. And of course, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm awesome and you love me, right? <laughs> Now go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you uh, if you enjoy this stuff so you can get back over here and and uh, check things out and talk about some nerdy stuff with me, alright? My name is Mike from the Super Wheeler Bros, and as always, my friends, have yourselves a super week.